for a lot of shows, Craig, it's, you know, there's a production. Come here, Reeks. Everybody Come on. Gets on the... Come here. Come on. What up, what up, what up? Wrinkles, come here. Come on up. Come on, come. What's up, everybody? Doing a little uh, check-in with everyone. It's my birthday today, so I was like, let's get on a live. Let's do a live. Come here, come. Wrinkles, what's wrong with you? Come on. Good boy. Come on. Come here, buddy. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Ah, look at Rinks. Thank you. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Wrinkles, look at the camera. Come on. Be camera ready. Get in here. <laughs> I'm feeling great, Rita. Uh, thank you for the birthday wishes. And, uh, hey, Casey, what's up? Uh, I'm feeling good. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I want to get on live because I I've been intermittently doing the daily videos, uh, but some days I'm just beat and I'm like, eh. But uh, had this surgery May 11th. Uh, some people I, I'm maybe everybody doesn't even know, um, but I uh, May 11th I had the gastric sleeve surgery it's where they cut out part of your stomach. <laughs> so I'm. Uh, I think I'm like, I'm at least 40 pounds down right now since then, since May 11th. Uh, ah, thanks, buddy. Thank you, everybody, for the birthday wishes. But I wanted to get on live. It's my birthday, and I was like, I haven't, uh, some, I guess, I don't know. Some people are, like, I've been posting, like, old videos, like, reruns, and people are like, ah, oh, you, you look uh, like you lost weight. And I'm like, oh, it's an old one. But, so this is me right now. Uh... Like I said, I, I think I'm, I'm down at least 40 pounds. Um, uh, I'm getting, I'm, I'm going to the doctor next week, so I'll get weighed then and find out what the, the most recent update is. Wrinkles, come here, come here, buddy. Back that thing up, come here, get up here. Oh, there you go, buddy. Uh, I'm feeling great. Um, it's, uh, it's interesting with the, uh, with the, uh, the surgery thing um, that, uh, Thank you. Yeah, a couple. I'm like reading the comments and also trying to talk, which I can't do two things at once because I'm an idiot. Um, it's been a trip. Like the uh, coming out of surgery when I was loopy, I was like, "Oh God, have I made a horrible mistake?" Because it, it just, it, I, it just, there was pain and like all this other stuff. All right, Rinks. All right, buddy. Um, but uh, now, like uh, when you come out of surgery, like you, you it's hard. It's supposedly. Well, it was. Um, it's hard to drink like a lot at once. You know, your your I guess your stomach is you know it's it's gone from the size of like a football to an egg. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And uh, I don't know, dude. I, I feel like I'm progressing pretty good. Like I'm I'm able to get down all my all the water, all the liquids I'm supposed to, all the protein, all that shit. And uh, uh, the first few days. I was having some lightheaded spells because I'm, you know, you go from where I was just pigging out to now I'm doing like 800 calories a day, <laughs> basically is my diet. Wrinkles, Jesus, come here. Um, but like my meds got adjusted and uh, uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, meds got adjusted. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. Uh, yesterday though, I, I, it was weird. I, I was supposed to do a show uh, for Artie Hollingsworth. Artie comic here in uh in vegas who has the same last name great dude um and i had to cancel because i was just i felt off yesterday it was weird but i'm feeling good ah shoe game shan shan ah that's a dumb hat thank you appreciate it <laughs> a straight white fail uh uh come here rinks but yeah feeling good slim thick yeah there you go I'm gonna be a, a slim, uh, slim five. Um, no, I'm feeling good. You, the other thing that's a trip. I mean, 
I'm not, I, I shouldn't be saying this, but I, I went and got my hair cut the other day, and, uh, like, I, you know, I, if you've seen my stand-up, I do a joke about losing weight and worrying about going from, like, a fat eight to a, a thin two or whatever. Uh, fuck Buffalo, um, Pat. Uh, but, uh, um, yeah, when I was getting my hair cut, I was like, I, it's weird. Like, I, I'm, I'm waiting for... To, to turn a corner where it just all hits me and I just look, I age like 10 years, but I was like, fuck, I feel like I'm looking younger. And my buddy was saying, you look like you're refreshed or rested, which uh, I have been sleeping better, so that might be true. Um, yeah, chubby 6.5. There you go, Shan, get him. Fuck Buffalo. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to come on and... Uh, my birthday, so I wanted to come on, let everybody tell me happy birthday. <laughs> no. uh, uh, all right, Rings. All right, all right, all right, we get it. I know, buddy, I know. How's everybody else doing? Tomorrow, I'm, uh, tomorrow will be my first uh, flight or trip since having the surgery. I'm flying to Burbank, and then I got to go up to Morrow Bay, doing some shows for SLO, Slow Comedy. Um, thank you, thank you for the birthday wishes. So it should be, uh, yeah, I'm flying into Burbank, then I got to drive a few hours, but uh, should be, I think I'm, I think I'm good. I'll be hydrated and doing all my uh, protein shakes. Should be good. <laughs> I can wrinkles. Oh, wrinkles. Rinka Danks. Wrinkles been good? <laughs> Taking care of me? I guess. He is spoiled. He, I, for whatever reason, he loves to just be here and just lay like this. Come on, Wrinkles. Have a little cooth. Jesus. Be a little humble. Oh yeah, my little uh, Wonka bar. I actually have a golden ticket over there. Can't see it, but... I have a, a little golden ticket framed because the original Willy Wonka is the best. And I love uh, Gene Wilder. Uh, what else should I tell you? I don't know. I, I don't know if I got anything else about related to surgery. Um, uh, today I did my first. Uh, <laughs> he's in the camera, Dick first. He is. But we. <laughs> Uh, today, you know, again, I'm two weeks, two weeks and a day out from the surgery, and today I had an egg and uh, like a, a half of a very, very thin, lean hamburger patty, and then I, the rest I put back in a little, uh, put it in the fridge. Thanks, Daniel. Appreciate it. Feeling good. Making it happen. Trying to. Wrinkles about to fall asleep here. That's all right. He, for whatever reason, he, he likes to sleep like this. Oh, okay. All right. I get it. I know, Shan. It, it, it's, it's almost weird. Like, uh, going through this, like, I'm, I'm on different forums or groups for people that have had the bariatric sleeve surgery or whatever. And it's, uh, yeah, exactly. I, it's, it's interesting because people will post, like, how long they were on liquids or protein or how long till they got to solid foods. And everybody's all over the place. Some people they're like, oh, I, I was on solid foods a week after surgery. And then some people are like, oh, it was like four months. And I was like, four months? I'd fucking, I'd lose my shit. So I, uh, I did a week, well, a week before surgery I was on liquids. And a week after surgery I was on liquids. Then I did a week of puree. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, and I'm like a creature of habit. So I pretty much just eat the same shit. If I find something that I like, I'm like... All right, I'll I'll get my my protein and nutrients from this. Um, yeah, so today was the first like eggs and and uh, some hamburger meat, and it fucking was so good. Oh god! <laughs> but that was it's crazy how it you know you you're like one egg and a, like I mean a, a thin half of a, a patty. Yeah, the dog's alive. He just, he likes to chill like this. Um, but just eating that, I was like, yeah, I'm full. I'm good. Just, uh, 
I'll probably have another protein shake later so I can get all my protein in. Yeah, this wrinkles, since he's a puppy, he likes to lay like this and he'll just chill like this the whole time. Sometimes he'll wake up and then he'll flip his head over to this side. We'll see. But. Mmm, what else? Nothing else to report. Like I said, I thought I'd get on here and I haven't, uh, haven't seen y'all for a minute. Well, I mean, I've been doing my daily videos off and on, but, you know. You'll figure out during this that you never needed as much, oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Uh, ah, what up, Chase? Uh, fucking black, the black Don Juan. Um, Coco Caliente. Uh, what do I think about the Celtics? I don't want to talk about it until, I, I'll, I'll talk after game six. Shan, who's from, uh, from Boston, um, we've, we've, we've talked about it off and on. I, I'm not saying anything. I don't want to, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to watch the game, see what happens, but, you know, you know, Chase, you're from fucking, you're in Boston, you know, you know the fucking jinxes and curses and superstition, yes, <laughs> there you go, Shan, yeah, Chase, how dare you fucking bring it up, yeah, exactly, fuck, Chase, uh, Chase, you still doing jujitsu? Mm. Fucking wrinkles. He does look like he's dead. Give his little ting ting on, <laughs> on camera. Thank you. Thank you for the birthday wishes. And we're... Let me see. I wonder what... How far am I from my goal weight? Uh, I don't know. 100 pounds? <laughs> I don't know. That's great. That's great, Chase. It's crazy too, Mike. Before the surgery, uh, I got up to the the highest weight I've ever been in my life. I was like, God damn. But it's uh, before the surgery. I think I had lost maybe 15 pounds going on that liquid diet, and then and then they. They weighed me last week, and at that point, it, it was uh, I'd been I'm down 35 pounds, so I'm I'm sure I've lost at least another five pounds. So I say I think I'm down 40. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I'm I'm not gonna try and kill myself. Like you know, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna do everything I'm supposed to, Shan. Like you know, what the getting my protein intake and eating right and all that stuff. But I'm not gonna. I'm not really going to be like, like, oh God, I, you know, I'm, if I get in a rut or whatever, I'm just going to keep, you know, following the, following the, the diet and everything. Yeah, I did. I did. Oh, I know. Dude, I know, Chase. I used to do jujitsu. I used to have a, I used to teach MMA, Chase. Come on. Um, I'm, I've thought about looking into that once I, uh, I get the go ahead, go ahead. Oh, um, Shan, sleep. I don't know why, but I've been, since the surgery, I've been getting crazy good scores on my sleep app, on my uh, fit, fit bit, my fat bit, um, my fat bat. Uh, yeah, my sleep has been great. And I think that might be, like my buddy was saying, he doesn't know if I necessarily look younger, but uh, I look refreshed, which I definitely feel it. You did it in 2015. Ah, that's great. Ah, oh, don't say that, Shan. You're just vertically challenged. If you were taller than it all, that's it. I'm just lucky. Tall. Ah. <laughs> uh. As I yawn, but it's crazy though. Like before surgery, I would every day I would be like around this time. No, around three or four, I would crash and I would be like, I need a nap. And I would take a nap like every day. Since the surgery, I haven't, I haven't had naps. I haven't had the nap. It's great. It also is like, 
you know, being on this is kind of like being forced to do the keto diet, which, uh, you know, it's, it's good. Keto, you don't really crash. Oh, shit. He lost some weight and he was out fucking magenta. <laughs> okay, Rinks, come on. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't really have much to, much to report other than just touching base with everybody and posting this. Uh, but things are good. Things are good. <laughs> okay, all right. I don't, just saying, you know. Had twins. Damn. And uh, since then, since uh, having the kids and the surgery and everything, everything good? Wrinkles. Here, let's, let's turn this over so it's not showing your asshole or your, your dick and balls or your, your dick and no balls. Here, we'll do like that. All right. <laughs> See all my shit on. What a... Jesus, what a pig. I gotta clean off my table. It'll be interesting, like, uh, how long it'll take to make the goal. And I may even, like, my doctor, my primary care physician, she had the surgery, and after, after she lost a bunch of weight, she didn't like how skinny she looked. So she actually intentionally gained some of the weight back. Um, and now she's at, like, she says she likes to be have a little more curves and a little meat on her, so she gained some of the weight back. What's up, Rinks? All right, buddy. Did you when you did it? Did you ever have the hair loss shit? I know some people like four or five months in, they say they had like they had like or was, they could have like hair loss and then it comes back or whatever. What's up, buddy? What's up, Rinks? That's cool. What's up, buddy? Oh, that's good. I mean, I didn't, I didn't brush my hair today, so we'll see. Hoping, hoping I don't have that. I mean, if I do start losing my, I've always said, whether from this or just in general, I always said if I start losing my hair, I'm just gonna shave it all off. I'm just gonna go fucking bald, baby. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Good boy. Yeah, and the, it's funny when I came home from the hospital. Uh, I think Wrinkles eventually realized, like, oh, he, he's been through some shit. But God, he was like, he was all excited. So he's like jumping on my stomach. I'm like, you motherfucker. That's interesting. When you say that you came more self-conscious, and how so? Like, what was uh, wrinkles? All right. What was what like? What were you worried about, or like self-conscious about? What's up, buddy? Like, I don't want to be a. I, I would never want to be, like, just a, a a twig, like just thin, rail thin. That's why I'm like, I can't wait till I can work out. All right, Rinks, I love you too, buddy. All right, all right, buddy. He was a good boy. I get it. All right, Rinks. Okay. Good boy. Yeah, Wrinkles, though, just fucking jumped right. Really? Your confidence went down. Interesting. I, you know, it's interesting, like, as I'm... I mean, because I was always pretty confident. <laughs> Even as a giant, but... Uh, I like there's certain things I'm looking forward to like that I've already experienced somewhat like my buddy was saying he's like are you worried about if you have loose skin or shit like that and I'm like even if I do I mean <laughs> I say you know I say I don't fuck shirtless right now as a fat fuck so I just will just keep that going but but the benefits like my knees won't hurt I won't have like those the pains of like I get every once in a while in my ankle I'll get uh like a, it's like a sniper shot my ankle 
because I've, I've twisted it so many times playing hoop growing up and stuff. And uh, hey, what up, what up? Uh, ah, Justin, what's up, Justin? Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to like not having those pains and stuff like that, you know. And I mean, I'm already seeing some positives. Like, like I said, I'm sleeping better than I, I have in years. That's crazy. But I'm looking forward to when I get the go ahead where I can start working out because I want to, you know, do as much as I can on my part to not have those those issues. Stuff like that. Rings, come here. Come. Come on. Wrinkles. Come on. Up, up, up. Come here. Hey. Come here. Rinks. Wrinkles, come on. Come here. <laughs> Tony Baker. Mr. Baker. What up, Tony? Thank you, Tony. Appreciate it. Thought I'd get on here because I haven't done a, a live for a minute and, you know, haven't checked in after the surgery. I've done some daily videos, but thought I'd get on and tell everybody. I feel like bait and switch. Cute and clothes and get me home and I'm Peter Griffin with no bones. <laughs> Ah, Tony, thank you. Thank you for buying a badge. I still don't know what that does or what that means, but thank you. <laughs> I think you're the only person that's ever bought a badge anytime I've done one of these. It's my birthday gift. Thank you, Tony. Uh, uh. All right, Rinks. Rinkles, come on. Let's not, let's not get that on camera. Let's move you down. <laughs> yeah, today though, uh, being able to eat something solid for the first time, just a burger. I just had a plain, like, and not a full burger, obviously, but just being able to chew. You know, it's a trip too that I noticed, um, you know, being on the liquid diet for the last three weeks really basically liquid and puree when I chew now back of my neck hurts because you don't use those muscles so I'm like oh man my fucking neck <laughs> it's been good uh, that's what I was just talking about on here is um, uh, it's it's interesting it's like there's been different like stages or levels so coming out of the surgery I was groggy obviously and they talk about when you go into surgery or when you get out of surgery, make sure you walk uh, immediately because air gets trapped in you when they do the surgery and that shit can hurt. And it it's a weird, achy uh, pain like you haven't ever experienced before. So coming out of surgery as I was going to my bed uh, at the hospital, the my first thought which I, I've been good since, but I was like, holy shit, was this a horrible mistake? Should I have not have done this? And I was like, oh fuck, have I just made a life altering change that was wrong? Uh, ah, thank you, cloud nine cutie. Um, but then I, you know, I stayed in there overnight and, and uh, you know, you're, you're fucking, they're poking you and taking blood and all this shit all, all through the night and everything. And then I got home and over the next few days, the, the air got out of the body and like those weird aches. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm sleeping better than I ever slept, or that I've slept since I can remember, um, which is interesting. And uh, oh yeah, Magenta, you had the, did you have the, the air aches after surgery? It's fucking weird. It's like, I have a pretty high threshold of pain and I didn't take any pain meds because I'd rather, I'd rather have pain than feel like I don't have all my wits about me. And I, I, I hate feeling loopy off of meds. So I was like, I'll just deal with it. Um, but uh, yeah, that fucking, that air pain that gets in you, it was weird. It's a, it's a weird, hard to describe ache and pain. Um, but yeah, it's, shit's going good. Shit is going good. Oh, you were the same? Did you, you had the same thing coming out of the surgery? Erica, you're trying to get Erica to join? 
To join what? The hero. Ah, oh, rinks. Shade donkey. Uh, yeah, I did, uh, and my first, uh, my first show back was Tuesday, uh, I was at the Comedy Cellar hosting, um, I ain't fucking with you, relax, come on, come on, Cloud9 cutie, <laughs> um, but, uh, what the fuck was I saying, oh, yeah, my first show's back. Where so I was a week and a week and like four days out. Where at the cellar I was hosting here in Vegas, and uh, yeah, I was you know you're like oh god, uh, do I have a podcast? Yes, it's called The Hauling's Worthless, and I also have a uh, I also have a podcast called Fucking Boo, which is just comics come on and they tell their best bombing stories. You can go to YouTube.com/slash Big Irish J. Thank you. Thank you, Corson. I know who you are. Um, yeah, and, uh, and I've, uh, I've been good since the first few days after surgery. I had a few, like, getting up too quick and you, you're lightheaded. Since then, I've been good, except yesterday. I was do, supposed to do some shows out here in Vegas, or do a show out here in Vegas for Black Eleven Entertainment. Shout out to them. And, uh, like, I just, I fell off yesterday, like... It was weird. So I, I had to cancel that. Uh, yeah, the bombing podcast is pretty funny. Like I said, comics just come on and they tell their their greatest, worst bombing stories. And uh, it's, uh, it's pretty funny. The different, how we, how as comics we react to the bombing, the, the bombings we've been involved in. So... This is this is wrinkles is good, but he's falling asleep. <laughs> I have the weirdest dog. Since he was a puppy, he loves to just lay like this. I know. I'm gonna act just as like a skinny asshole <laughs> rather than a fat asshole. Uh, maybe I'll move around more on stage. Who knows? I have to change all my jokes. No more fat jokes. My favorite thing, though, is... My favorite thing so far... All my buddies that are, like, skinny. I just call them all fat fucks now. <laughs> like, my buddy Sean, who's always been thin. And he's, like, 6'4". And he... Well, one, he's always hated that I'm taller than him. Uh, we Irish Jay. Yeah, there you go. Uh, my buddy Sean, though, he's he's 6'4". Always been thin. And, uh... He always hates that I'm taller than him because he's always like, I'm usually the fucking tall guy. So he hates when, like, when I'm standing next to him. So now, as I'm losing weight, I just call, I say he's like this short, stocky guy. <laughs> I call him fat. <laughs> it's just, it's so dumb because he's, he's not fat. But I'm like, yeah, hey, you a little, little short, stocky guy. You ruffle his hair a little bit. Ah, oh, little guy. Oh, Kane Holloway. Speaking of fucking Boo, uh, watch Kane's boo bombing story on Boo. And Andrew Rivers at the uh, comedy places. Oh, yeah, at the parlor. Yep, parlor live. Yeah, yeah. Which is gone under. No longer. But I will be in Seattle uh, December. First week in December, I'm headlining... I think it's called the Comedy Bar. I think it's called the Comedy Bar. It's on Capitol Hill. It's a new club. And I'm also going to be in Tacoma, at headlining the Tacoma Comedy Club, their, their new uh, location on 6th. You bombed last night, King? All right, you got to call and tell me. It, it can't beat mine. Mine was fucking... <laughs> oh. oh, thank you. My little... Uh, Flowers, thank you. You know, I got quite a collection of the the best the best Boston hats. Rinks. <laughs> I promise you, my dog's not dead. This is just how he likes to he likes to sleep. Oh fuck, Kane! All right, you gotta you gotta. We'll have to talk after the. You walk two tables. Oh fuck. 
Oh, Nate Jackson's awesome. Yeah, shout out to Nate. Nate's, and he's, I'm so happy he's blowing up right now because he's a great comic, great dude, hard worker, and it's, uh, it's great to see him, like, getting his, getting his due. Do you feel worse when you bomb with a black audience? I would imagine it is. Uh, <laughs> uh I don't know if, uh, nah, if you bomb, it's probably going to be the same feeling wherever you bomb. I mean, I remember, who was it? Somebody was telling, I think they told the story on Boo. They were talking about somebody bombed, or no, Trix has a story about somebody that bombed at a black show. And when the comic was leaving, some of the audience members followed him out into the parking lot to keep booing him. To just be like, that guy fucking sucks. That would suck. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know <laughs> when I'll get back to Reno. I have to, I got to send my avails though to, uh, to the man. We'll see. Wrinkles, bro. People think you're dead. Here. <laughs> All right, go back to bed. <sighs> Dog's so weird. I'm, I'm trying to think of the. I mean, like, Kane can tell you. Like, I, the last time I bombed, he was there, and it was. It, I hadn't bombed in a while, and it, that strong of a bomb, and I just, I just took it. I just sat in it. I was like. And afterwards, uh, I talk, I did the, I did an episode of my own show, Boo, where I was talking about this bombing. But after the show, there were some younger comics that were like, oh, I mean, you know, it wasn't. And I was like, no, no, don't do that. Don't fucking try and give me some horse shit. Like, oh, it was fine. I go, let me just, let me just take it. Let people shit on me. It's fine. I just, so I just sat there and let the, my buddies that, <laughs> like Kane and Josh, just shit on me about my bombing, which I deserved. It was fine. It's, it can't be afraid to bomb. If, you, you're, if you're afraid to bomb, you'll, you won't ever fucking do stand-up. And you won't ever try anything new. Oh, wrinkles. Hmm. Any other questions for me? You're afraid to bomb? No, you're not. Why, why, what are you, okay, what are you afraid of? The worst sex can happen is they don't laugh. I mean, or Will Smith slaps you, I guess. Bombing's fine. There was a, I'm trying to think, there was a comic that one time that he was saying, uh, he, one time he went up to try to bomb. He was like, I'm going to try and bomb. Um, just so, you know, to, just to get that feeling. I mean, now I'm not saying do that at a paid show where people are paying for their tickets. But, like, at an open mic or whatever. I mean, you know, try new shit. You can't be afraid. Alright, rings. I guess we're done. Ugh. 3D, right? On the flip side, his fan is Daryl. Daryl Owens is awesome. Ripped the shit out of me at show sitting front row. Kept coming back to you and I was a target. <laughs> Damn! Donnell Rollins is crusher. As is Nate. Yeah, Donnell. Oh, God. He has one of my favorite, <laughs> one of the funniest jokes. Uh, about I'm not gonna do it, but he has a joke about the Popeyes commercial, and the the spokesperson for it. It's so fucking funny. Ah, uh, you guys hear that bell? That's wrinkles. Let me know. He has to go go potty. Uh, all right, all right, rings. I gotta take that shit out anyways. Uh, I guess I should wrap it up and take wrinkles out so he can go doo doo brown. But. Like I said, wanted to come on here and just uh, say hey to everybody and uh, see how everybody's doing and let you know how I'm doing. So I guess I should sign off. Until next time, bomb voyage, bombs away. <laughs> uh, yeah.
I'll be on tonight playing uh, vids. Maybe I'll stream it on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you, C9C. Uh, yeah, I'll be, I'm gonna, I'll stream tonight. Probably around 11. Alright, guys. Until next time. Love you all. Appreciate it. Bye.